literally meaning that everything I do, anything I do excels. As long as I do it, it excels. I have the spirit of it flows through me. It's natural. So I'm not reading. I'm not reading or studying in order to excel. Hey guys, you're welcome to the very first episode of Transforming Mindset. I feel so thrilled to have you here with us. I hope that this episode transforms your mindset towards your academics and excellence generally in life. Hang in there with us. So for those who do not know me, I'm Rose Kamel Ode. I'm a Christian. I'm a spoken word artist. You can see from my previous video. And then I'm a lawyer, as you'd find out today. <laughs> well, last year, I went through the Nigerian Law School and I experienced the deepest transformative journey I've ever had when it comes to my academics. I noticed that for whatever reason people have, there are not so many videos out there on academic excellence and that's why I'm dedicating this video not just on excellence generally but on academic excellence. So stay tuned. So I got admission to the Nigerian Law School in 2021 and I went in with one goal in mind and that was to do my best my goal wasn't to be the best but to like put in my best and i think that should even be our guiding principle in life generally because we're not competing with anybody have you done your best once you've done your best whatever comes of it that became my guiding principle i know that it looks like oh you're just going to do your best so no pressure and all of that but it's not really so because like do your best until you are leaving no stone unturned so when i got to school and so many people are like oh my god you can't learn all of the cases people are like oh my god there are so many principles everything is overwhelming well, my mind was just i'm going to do my best i'm going to make sure i know this thing if i don't remember it if anything happens then it happens but for me i'm doing my best as long as this thing is concerned so I started off like that, it was going smooth, it was going fine, I was just, oh my god, I'll go to class, I'll do my thing and all of that. Until after a while, particularly during the externship and after I discovered that that's not going to carry me through. <laughs> like I resumed and discovered that a lot of people know how to draft. People have learned this thing over time, people know cases and a lot of, and I was reading, I was working hard, I was giving it my best, but my best was not making sense and, and you get to know the pressure was becoming a lot, coursework was adding up, everything, everything became so bad, like the pressure was getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> So it got to a point that um, I became sleep deprived because I couldn't even sleep with my two eyes closed. I would literally wake up abruptly and begin to think of the things that I'm yet to do, the things I'm yet to achieve. Everything was so overwhelming. In fact, at a point I said, okay, I was going to pray about this thing. I was going to take out time to pray every Saturday morning on academic. Oh. When I wake up in the morning, the only thought on my mind is the fact that, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, how can I do this? I can't, I can't. Self-doubt, a lot of things were just, you know, a lot, it was a lot for me at that moment. I kept struggling and struggling through the difficulties and all of that and at the point my friend was just like girl you're not holding it up well at all and then she's like oh i'm going to give you some messages and she gave me those messages from pastor tara of standing church ibadon i have the link of the messages just right under this video please check through them listen to them it will further take you towards a complete turn when it comes to your transformative journey regarding your academics so when I started listening to these messages, the first thing that God made me realize is the fact that we have the spirit of excellence. You know, when we talk about, oh, Daniel, God gave them the spirit of excellence. They were better than their mates and all of all those things. It just seems like fairy tale. It seems like something distant, not so practicable and all of that. But listening to those messages and all, I realized that the spirit of excellence is literally like you saying, I have the Holy Spirit in me. Or literally like you saying, I have the spirit of Rose Camille in me. Like it is inherent, it's inside of me. You have to kill me to pull it off. So naturally meaning that everything I do, anything I do excels. As long as I do it, it excels. I have the spirit of it flows through me. It's natural. So I'm not reading. I'm not reading or studying in order to excel. It is the spirit of excellence in me that helps me to read. It's the spirit of excellence in me that guides me through reading. It's the spirit of excellence in me that just, you know, do all of these things and i'm not even reading i'm not i'm not reading to pass i'm not reading to be excellent that's who i am already i don't need to read to do that i'm just reading to activate 
what is already there and just like a balloon you know when you have those balloons and they've blown it to the highest point and then somebody just loses the whole thing and then the thing just you know that was how i felt so like the pressure just because i just realized this is it like i'm excellent this is who i am like that's my default mode that is who i am i'm excellent already i'm only reading to activate it and all so the pressure and then i discovered reading became easier immediately the pressure left it became easier to read it became easier to do all of those things and that was what, what, what really helped me even with um the fear of forgetting because you know law school is a lot and then i don't know probably your school too there's a lot of the coursework is a lot is bulky you don't know where to start from where to go to and you get to know all of all those things and all and then i used to have this fear and discouragement when i get to when i try to remember these things and they're not coming forth and all but because i have an excellent spirit i realize now that oh i have an excellent spirit in me i don't care and then i forget something the first thing is oh thank god this is the excellent spirit that has led me to remember that i have forgotten this thing so immediately i go back and then i read it i go back and learn it again i go back and read it again as long as we are not in the exam hall i'll keep doing it remember the goal is to do my best is to do my best so i don't believe that i'll forget anything i'm doing my best my best oh i can't remember this thing go back i'm checking it out i can't remember so don't get let the pressure get to you don't let it get to you to the extent that you become discouraged you begin to feel like oh my god i read this thing i can't even remember anything again i'm this and that stand up immediately and say oh my god thank god i remember now that i can't remember it <laughs> so that i will remember it for another time the second thing i realized through this journey is um, how involved god is with our academics you know growing up in church and all everybody is like oh let's pray for righteousness pray for holiness pray for this pray for that and even when you go for school fellowship we raise prayer points for everything and it's only at the end they are like oh also pray for your academics this exam we are writing god help us and all of all those things because people just feel like everything should come first but at this time i realized that whatever bothers me bothers god whatever i'm concerned about god is concerned about it whatever means so much to me means so much to god and i realized it is not selfish for me to pray for my academics and then i started dedicating time to pray after reading in the morning i'll just go outside and i'll sit and i'll pray and i'm majorly praying just for my academics i read the scriptures and apply it to my academics and every other thing is just secondary and all of that so while um i was doing this one of the things i realized was how perfect god was because when i go out that early by like 5 30 a.m 6 a.m and all i would look at the sky and how beautiful the clouds are the fact that none of them are falling down none of the trees the trees are so perfectly aligned like the whole world is so perfect and if god can perfect everything what's a couple of A's that god won't give me what's a couple of 70s 80s 90s that i can't get what am i afraid of the same god in psalm 138 verse 8 says he perfects all that concerns you so my life is perfected i'm good i'm fine i'm great my academic is awesome and all of that so that period god took me through that transformative journey and I, then i stay committing my ways to god and all of that not that thing that god taught me through this journey very important in fact if you've not learned anything which i hope you have i hope you learned this was how to overcome self-doubt in answering your exam questions so a lot of us fail exams or we don't have um as great grades as we deserve because when we see the questions we already said begin to second guess ourselves we begin to feel like oh my god i'm not so good this question was um asked for me a certain area that i didn't pay attention to i know all about those things that just you know come in when you're writing your exams and all of that so i told myself that and um, when i get to the exam hall and i'm faced with any questions whatever i think is the answer is the answer like i've read i've read i really truly spent every single day reading <laughs> attending lectures doing all of all those things so i'm not going to second guess myself whatever i think is the answer is the answer 
So and one of the practical ways, I tell you that God is so mindful of us. He just teaches us all of these things because like we would need it in life <laughs> or we need it for the future and all of that. One of the practical ways I saw this in action was when I was writing my last paper. Like I was so tired, I was just over the whole thing. I was over the whole thing. I just wanted to finish the exam and rest. So when I got in and then I saw the question, it wasn't from any of the areas I revised. It was from like all those ancient of these areas and all of that. I was tired. I just bowed my head. I wasn't praying or anything. I was like, I beg, I'm tired. I can't even think. That was the first thing. Kai Omo, this thing is not fresh and all of that. And then I remember, whatever you think is the answer, is the answer. And I got up. I read the question again. I read through it and I say, Rose Camille, what do you think is the answer to this thing? I said, okay, I think it's this, that, 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 that. All right. Pull yourself together. Phrase the answer well. I don't care. It doesn't matter if you can't remember the authority. It doesn't matter if you don't remember the exact word. Phrase your answer well. Defend your answer and all of that and give it to them. So that's one thing that self-doubt does. When you begin to feel like, oh, I don't really know this question. Hey, this is not the part I read. This one, this, that, that. You can't give in your best. You can't put in the best answer. You're just going to frizzle out some things and then just scramble some thoughts here and there and all of that and that's not excellence you're not giving in excellence at all you're not giving in excellence at all so refuse to second guess yourself self-doubt you've studied hard you have the spirit of excellence you are excellent so what you think is the answer that's what is the answer there's no foreign thing no dramatic thing and all of that involved at all finally need i say this get god involved honestly speaking i can't even speak enough on how much miracle i experienced when it comes to revising the right places when it comes to reading the right direction reading the right thing when it comes to like there's just tons of miracles again and again and that's what happens when the holy spirit and god everyone is involved in your academic journey please put god involved put god involved put god involved try your best do your best and just know that you have the spirit of excellence in you you're not dumb you're not anything forget of all of all those things that people say oh some people are born intelligent some people are not born intelligent is that ask a three-year-old what from test is if he's very intelligent he'll be able to say it now and all of others but it's not possible people read and that's why they pass like literally you have the spirit of excellence in you you are excellent those things do not apply to you there's nothing like oh me i'm called into hard work i have to read 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 i have to you have the spirit of excellence you are excellent you are excellent by default you cannot feel you cannot feel you cannot be less than who you are called to be unless you do not know who you are so rise up like a star shine shine bright shine bright just to conclude this right after my examination i had gone home and then i remember going out with my dad and he's like oh i hope you just get even a two one and all of that and i'm like this guy doesn't know that our mind has been transformed i know because i had no doubts that i'm making it first class yes there was all of those fears that the devil tried to put in and say okay what of this one what of that and i'm just like I gave him my best to this thing. I committed it to God. I have excelled, there's nothing more. And then the results came out. And of course, I had A's in all of the um, courses, and that gave me a first class. <laughs> anyway, I'm dropping this video. I hope that um, you've been helped. I hope that um, you be the best of who you should be and for my law school students i'm just going to add this finally in case you are preparing for your exams nigerian law school use the pyrac rule i'm sure all of us know it when answering your questions they have the issue they've given you the issue in the question already put in the general rule apply it to the fact at hand and then conclude your conclusion is either you are saying yes or no and all of all those things you know they ask questions like what would you do in this matter that's what you put down in your conclusion so i'm just giving this as a closing statement for those people preparing for bar finals i wish you all the best in your exams i wish you all the best girl all the best guy because you are excellent thank you very much and um, do not forget to subscribe like put on your notification button 
see you next time thank you Thank you.